Well, welcome back, James. Glad that you're here today. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Becky. How are you today? I'm doing very well. This is another edition of SGN, our small group news. We wanted to talk a little bit about some of the great things that has happened here in Weatherford with our small groups that we started last week. We've got several that have met and done some pretty awesome things. Miss Becky, what are some of the things that we have seen this week? Well, this week with small groups, we have had one small group who has never stopped meeting this whole quarantine time. Can you wow, believe that? They have been so great. faithful to each other and, and, and to their fellowship. Uh, they decided that right away they wanted to stay connected. And so they've been meeting over in the parking lot across the street from us. And once it got a little too warm, they moved over to the next parking lot in the shade. So they're still meeting there. They, they come that's in on Sunday evenings and they're having a great time. But you know, that's very good. They, James, they are maintaining their six foot social distancing. So they've got a family group, six feet, family group, six feet. They're not having any food. They're just having lots of good fellowship. They're sharing the word. That's wonderful. Like I said, I think we have some pictures of that right now. If you want to look, we'll show those real quick. Okay. Isn't that kind of wonderful? Like I said, they're still meeting. They never gave up getting together. And they, like I said, they're spaced out in the parking lot like that. And I said, it's a little sunny. You can see it on some of their faces, but they look like they're having a really good time. I think they're having a great yep. time. I, I really applaud their effort there. And, and, you know, they could even stop for fast food and be eating with one another, but really not be eating with one another. But they could be mm -hmm. sharing that fellowship too. We've had a, a second group that decided that they thought it would be a great idea to take their show on the road. Yes, yes. I, I, I said, Mr. Mike sent that video to us, didn't he? He did. And I said, they went and they sang to some of our more... Um, more adult people? More, more adult normal, people, more yes. Our, people. Our, 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 um, our more mature people in the congregation that uh, could really use some good encouragement and from this, this singing. And uh, they sang to the shut-ins and... I said, it, from what I hear, the were, group was encouraged, but not only the group was encouraged, the ones they sang to were really encouraged. And like I said, after being shut up for as many months as some of these people have been shut up, it's been, you know, It's yeah. a very good thing, because some people, if you don't have online access, you've been quarantined all by yourself all this time. Mm -hmm. So small groups have a great ministry to go to those yes, that, that can't get out. That's a wonderful thing. Now, That's great. Now, James, what? My, my small groups is actually a zone A. Zone A. Zone A. So Zone A was invited to our house last Sunday afternoon, and we were going to be uh, out in our front yard just sitting in our lawn chairs, six foot distancing. We're a little closer because we are outside yeah. in the bright sunshine, but in the evening hours at my house, the east side of the house is totally in the shade, so it's a very pleasant place to be. We encourage everybody to come back again, Zone A, to our house this weekend, That's and we'll repeat it. Great. And uh, we've had communion available if anybody wanted to partake. And uh, that's been a, a positive thing. I know that the elders said that we're going to continue doing this small group thing for a little while. And hopefully by the 24th, be back as a big assembly. And I know Mr. Mike's going to continue to do his blessing and stuff. And I said, with all these zone groups, I think I'm in zone seven. And I said, that's that's a... Zone seven. Is that like the A, B, C, D, E, F, or zone, G? Zone, yeah. Because they're I all letters, they, I yeah, think. G, yeah, G. G. Yeah, yeah, okay. no, the seventh one of the letters. Yeah. Okay, so, there we go. But we're going to meet, um, I think this week too, or try to, and do some singing and some communion, and it's, it's going to be really good. I know that uh, Marty said that the youth group is going to get together uh, and uh, play some games. Like I said, they're looking to have a game night off, or, well, it would have been this last Friday night, and um, uh, I think... From what he said, it was going to be fun. I, I haven't had a chance to talk to him yet and find out how great it's going to, how great it was, and how many kids played and showed up. But I know that the youth are trying to get together in a small group to spend some time together. That's wonderful. I'll be uh, looking forward to that report, James. I, I think I think we'll hear something about that at our next meeting. You know, we even have a small group who has their own Facebook page. Hey, you that's know, a great idea. They, they didn't wait to be zoned together. They just decided to fellowship together, and they made their own Facebook page so that they could continue sharing and uh, communicating with one another. They put pics on there of different things. And the best part, they share their prayer needs with one another that way. So it's a little more intimate setting group. It's not to the whole 
wide world that's it's just their group it, it makes their fellowship a little deeper that that that's a wonderful space to be able to share your needs and stuff especially since you can't get together face to face to do that that's a wonderful idea absolutely yeah okay i i know that uh your your brother has his own sgn on mm -hmm. on youtube and, and i've really enjoyed watching that i i know that uh He's had quite a following that, that we're probably not going to equal up to, but can you tell me a little bit about that? Well, John, John's been doing SGN for a while. He calls it some good news. And like I said, I, I'm not going to lie. I decided to steal his SGN and use it as small group news because guess what? Our small group's pretty awesome. But John, John has been doing things like graduation. He had a wedding, I think, this last week. He's had um, other people. He surprised um one of the girls that liked Hamilton with the whole Hamilton casting. And I said, it's been some really good encouraging things in this time when people need a little more encouragement. And I said, that's just kind of what we're trying to do here too with SGN is just trying to encourage our congregation and our people here, how we can spend time together and still follow these rules that we have on distancing from each other. Absolutely. I've really enjoyed watching your brother's program. I really mm -hmm. like this one now too. Oh, and the I've really enjoyed watching your brother on SGN, and, and I've enjoyed our changing this over to our small group news. So if anybody in their small group wants to send us a picture or a sm small video, just send it into our emails here at the church house, mm -hmm. and we'll be happy to share it with everybody so that you'll know what's going on in your neck of the woods. In fact, we even have a weather segment coming to you today. We're yes, gonna... yes, we do. Here, we're going to go to uh, Brother Bob, Bob Howard. No, 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 it's Rob Howard. Oh, sorry, no, Rob, Rob Howard. Thank sorry, you. I, I'm, I'm having a little problem with the teleprompter today. Rob Howard, Rob Howard is at our, our Neighbors Helping Neighbors next door, and he has actually got a weather report for us. So here we go. Hey, Rob, what's the weather like today? Wow, that was really good. Thanks, Rob, for letting us know what the weather was like. And I said, I'm glad the weather is good. And... Um, That's some really good news. That is some really good news. Miss Becky, um, let's close out, I guess, and say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, everybody. And if you, like Miss Becky said, if you have some good news about our small group news, please email it to us. Have a great day. Thank you so much. James. Thank you. Thank you. And thank we'll you. see you again maybe next week. Yes, ma'am. Bye, all.